and we've got these uh, images here. Let's do another sort of um, collection. And as I mentioned down here, the one with the little gear is what are known as smart collections. So if we click on that, it's going to say, look in. I can look in everywhere. I can look in me as a user, Jack Davis. I can look at my hard drive. I can look at all users, you know, depending upon whether you're a Windows or a Mac person. You can take that as far as you'd like. So this would look everywhere on my computer, including all my external hard drives. And I can say that what I would like for you to do is the parameter is I would like for you to look for keywords contains Pano. And if any criteria are met, and it's going to include all subfolders, which means every single thing for Jack Davis, and because I don't know all that's going on here, we're just going to say that we'll look inside of this folder right now, okay? Because for time purposes. But you can tell it where to look, what to look for. You can add as many parameters as you want that maybe I've got this and I've got my document type is a, um, I'm only interested in JPEGs or something like that. And only taken on a Thursday in the blue moon, whatever. You can set up as many parameters as you'd like in terms of this smart collection. Include the subfolders. Include non-index files, and okay, that's something that um, you'll notice when you open up a folder of images. It's going through there and indexing the files. So it, it's uh, because I'm telling it, it can look potentially at every single file on my hard drive, even those that have not been uh, in Adobe Camera Raw before. If I click this, it's going to go through every folder, all my Excel folders, everything in my entire hard drive, which is fine. But that's why it's telling me that um, it may be slower. So I'm going to say Save. And right now, that new Smart Collection, and we're going to call this Pano Smart, has nothing in it because I have not um, done any keywords for Pano within this particular folder. So if I go back, as an example, and we're going to do something here. Okay, and well, let's go ahead, and we're going to uh, take these images and go over to keywords and we're going to come over here and we can add another keyword. We're going to, these are ones that are built into it. People, places, things. And I'm going to hit a little plus. I'm going to call this Pano. Is it Pano or Panos? I think Pano is what the keyword was. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the checkbox. So I've just made a new keyword. I have applied it to all these images. So now if I go back to um, Pano's Smart, it is, and I think that I actually had those images selected, so let's go back up there. Make sure that I have them selected. Yeah, that is. Make sure that I spelled it right. Thank you very much. And then go back to our smart panos, then those images are there. So every single time that I add that keyword to any image, it will automatically come in here. A great example of this is something like putting in the word portfolio, okay, keeper, whatever. It, then you will automatically always have a folder of portfolio. All you need to do is keyword it. 